a girl that lived in Nigeria her entire life, I have to tell you about eco-friendly living or green cleaning or natural cleaning products when right behind my window was a generator that caused more problems to the environment than I could ever imagine and will completely cancel whatever sustainable measures that I took in my house. But today, your girl is changing. I am waking up to a more sustainable lifestyle and I want to take you on that journey with me. That's why I'm showing you four recipes that will replace your regular cleaning product. So it's important that I say this before we carry on. I still buy cleaning product. I'm, I'm making an effort to get there. And these are some of the recipes that are so good that I have tried and are totally amazing for you. First of all, my bleach makes me dizzy. Bleach makes me so dizzy. And I'm sure it happens to some of you as well. So I have found a really amazing toilet cleaner that I'm going to show you in a minute. The second thing I need you to know is that Having more ingredients in a recipe doesn't necessarily make, make it better. So for instance, you see some recipes that have vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, this, citric acid, like all together in one recipe. Anyone can come online and mix a DIY concoction. The more the ingredients doesn't necessarily mean it's better for the environment or better for you. So without further ado, what are the four ingredients that you need to make all your eco cleaning product. The first thing you need is distilled water. A lot of the, you know, the contaminants that have been removed from distilled water, which means that when you mix your eco-friendly cleaning products together, it will last longer because you don't have those contaminants in the regular water. If you don't have access to distilled water, I suggest boiling your water at least to get rid of some of those contaminants. The second thing is hydrogen peroxide. And you know, with everything that's happening now, COVID and all of that, Using hydrogen peroxide to actually sanitize and cleanse your home is literally the best way. It won't leave any unnecessarily harsh smell, you know, the way bleach does. And you can actually use it to remove a lot of like gunk in your bathroom and your kitchen to unclog drains. There's just so much that hydrogen peroxide can do for you. Baking soda is like, I feel like baking soda on the internet cures all sins. So baking soda is definitely something that you want to have in your arsenal because you can use it for a lot of different cleaning products. The fourth thing is vinegar. Vinegar is so essential. I'm going to show you a way that I infuse my own vinegar because vinegar can have quite a strong smell. So, you know, to infuse it. And that leads me on to the fifth ingredient. Is that the fifth? I think, um, which is essential oils. Essential oils are amazing for your environment. You know, some are actually not particularly good for you, but do your research. For instance, if you're pregnant or you have kids or you have pets, just be careful with the kind of essential oils that you use. But essential oils are the most natural way to, you know, um, fragrance your home. And it's just so beautiful. The final one we'll be using is citric acid. So I believe that if you have all these ingredients I have just mentioned, you can literally make whatever cleaning products that you desire. So we're going to get mixing now. I'm sure you're tired of me talking. Let's get into it. This vinegar mixture forms the basis of the all-purpose cleaner. The all-purpose cleaner you can use to clean your mirror, your fridge, your oven, your microwave, everything, literally. I use it in the bathroom to clean around and trust me, the all-purpose cleaner works everywhere. So in order to make the infused vinegar, what you want to do is get any citrus fruit and then peel it off. But please make sure that the peel doesn't have any of the fruit. And then what you want to do is put it in a jar, cover it with vinegar. The top could form some mold. So just make sure that it is immersed completely in the vinegar. So what happens is after you stored it for like two or three weeks, um, you could do this in the fridge, you could do this in a, in a dark cupboard, wherever you want to put it, it becomes like this. Your vinegar has a beautiful orangey smell, which you can intensify by putting some essential oils if you prefer. So pour it into your container, make sure that you strain it with a sieve because you don't want the orange bits in it. And once you've done that, half of it will be water. Make sure it's just vinegar, and water literally and then you, if you want you can add some essential oils that's if you prefer you, it's not it's not compulsory mm. 
Now the next thing we're going to make is the floor cleaner. The floor cleaner is like the easiest thing you can do. Just eco-friendly dish soap and water, literally. And here you don't even have to use distilled water. And if you prefer, you can also put some essential oils, which will give a really lovely fragrance to your home when you clean. So what you want to do is just pour that mix of dish soap and water and essential oils if you've added into your spray mop or whatever mop system that you use. I prefer the spray mop but just make sure that if you're doing hardwood floors you don't saturate the floor with too much water. So the next thing we're doing is the toilet cleaner. This one is also one of my favorites. All you need literally is baking soda and citric acid. So you want a three to one ratio. Here I am using three tablespoons of baking soda and one tablespoon of citric acid. That's all you need. So when you know the three to one ratio, you can literally make it as you want. Just make sure that the baking soda is a lot more than the citric acid. That's all you need. And then in order to be able to use it easily, you can transfer it into an old salt um, container like this one I have here, or you can also transfer it into a small spice container just so that it's easy to shake down the toilet. So in order to use this toilet cleaner, all you have to do is literally take that container or whatever, the shaker that you've created and then flush your toilet once and then shake it all around just so that it sticks to the edge and then you can leave it overnight or just leave it for like an hour or while you clean the rest of your house. And once you've done that, you just brush and your toilet is clean. All you need is some citric acid, some, some baking soda, or you can even use some vinegar as well if you prefer. Now to make my glass cleaner, which is this one is amazing because it does the job. All you need is some dish soap, you need some hydrogen peroxide, and then you need some baking soda. When you mix this together, it forms this, you know, paste, this whitish paste, which is amazing. And what you do is you put your sponge in there. If you have any glass or especially in the bathroom where you have those annoying lines that don't go easily all you need to do is just rub it like use your sponge to spread it around spread it really well front and back and then leave it for a few minutes and after that just wash down and then i like to use a squeegee to kind of remove um the excess water and then i use a mop or um a microfiber cloth to just wipe down and then you have like squeaky clean glass it's just amazing trust me this one is so good if a girl like me can start an eco-friendly lifestyle you can as well so i encourage you to try some of these recipes let me know how you feel about them let me know your thoughts down below and i will see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe bye